Hey folks, it's the Red, and now we're going to be taking a little detour onto the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I had made the note in the past that the only way that I was going to be looking at this game is if it had any new content to offer. And well, we got exactly that. Today we're having a look at Future Tense. Now, the way I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to cut this into two videos. The first one, the one you're watching right now, is going to be my blind run, first impressions of the level. I will be coming back later to do a no damage run where I get all the gems in the same run. So without any further ado, let's get right to it. Hey folks, it's the Red, and welcome to a special Insane Trilogy edition of Crash Bandicoot Warped. Uh, as of this video, we are now in early July of 2018, and as it turns out, the Insane Trilogy version of Crash Warped has a brand new level, and that's what we are now going to be checking out. This is going to be my blind run of the level, I will be later coming back to do a no damage run of the level, so uh, stay tuned for that as well. I've also opted to come to this level without having doing any of the other levels prior to this. This means that I don't have any of the powers that you get when you beat the bosses, so no double jumps, no death tornado spins, no none of that, just basic moves going into level 31. My logic being that if this level was to be made available to us right away, then surely we would be able to beat it with just our standard move set. so let's give it a try. So here is Future Tense. If it turns out that to do a no damage run of this I need the powers, then I will go back and do that, and then I will do take care of that. But for now, let's see what we can do. With great powers come great opportunities? I don't know, that message right there kind of tells me that maybe I will need to come back with the other abilities. Well, here's some hidden boxes. Uh, Crash 1 did things like that a lot. Oh, and moving lasers, that's pretty clever. Didn't see that in the original levels. And also, sideways walkways. Definitely gonna need to watch out for that, because those don't give you a lot of room to stay on them for very long. I'm also glad that they chose to go with this future theme, because we really didn't see enough of this in Crash 3. Ooh, this looks like it's gonna be a little tricky. Yeah, okay. Not as bad as it looked. Excuse me. Oh, what's our box count? 145. Wow, that's quite a bit. Starting to push uh, Wrath of Cortex numbers there. What are these things? I don't recall any kind of uh, enemy like that. Oh wait, this is a slot crate! I just noticed that it was like flipping very fast. I was like, ugh, <laughs> I, I was reacting a little too slow there. Okay. So yeah, the uh, let the hecticness begin, I guess. <laughs> oh, of course. Here I am thinking I can do this with a regular jump, but nope. Stick to the slide jumps. I almost did again. I'm starting to think maybe I should have uh, collected a bunch of lives before coming here. I'm not sure if 10's going to be enough, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Okay, if you're quick enough, you can get through there without too much. Oh, well time your jumps better, and that will help as well. <laughs> I will say this, though. I really like how the Insane Trilogy came out, especially here on the Nintendo Switch. This, this is just a gorgeous game. There we go. I have a feeling every Wump is going to count, so I'm going to make sure I'm collecting all of that. Okay, slot crate up ahead. Let's not dilly-dally. Okay. Okay, we got some trouble up ahead. Ugh. These platforms kind of uh, 
push you towards the missiles, and that makes things extra dangerous. I have a feeling getting through there without getting hit is going to be a little difficult. Oh ho! I was right to be suspicious of this. Okay, let's see. Can I slide jump to there? Yes. Okay. But how am I going to hit that? Hope the answer's up here. Just some extra lives, so I'm certainly not going to say no to those. Well, I mean, I'm casting a shadow on this, despite there being a platform clearly below here. I'm just uh, thinking in terms of the powers as well. Even if I had something like the Fruit Bazooka, I don't think I'd be able to hit it from here. Could I? Uh... My only other guess is that maybe there's an invisible platform here, but um, will I be able to get back here? Okay, I'm going to try and hit the checkpoint. Now, bounce back up there. Oh, well, that works. <laughs> Let me take another peek over... Uh, oh, well, there's definitely no invisible platform. And we'd be able to get up here pretty easily with a double jump. I suppose being able to shoot it with the fruit bazooka isn't totally out of the question, so I'm guessing for the time being that that is what we would need in order to fill that in. Well, it's starting to feel more like Stormy Ascent, yeah. I was not expecting to see any sort of new gimmicks in this... Oh, well, that was clumsy. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see any new gimmicks in this level. I was expecting this level to be built pretty much entirely from... Uh, uh, ...already used assets from throughout the game. Just get that out of the way. And this time I'll get over this with a high jump. There we go. And going further up. Hmm. Okay. Looking like a pretty good level so far. They're making a lot of things move that normally don't, and I kind of like it. Hmm. Well, that looks a little dangerous. Guessing there's, uh, one of those target enemies shooting at us from a distance. Oh! I thought they sh Yeah, don't they shoot like... Okay, they shoot four at a time. Noted! Okay, wait for four missile shots this time and then run across. One, two... Three, four. Okay. Well, this looks a little dangerous. Oh, get out of there. Ooh. More missiles being shot from the distance. Okay. This time we need to bounce on boxes at the same time. Okay, count out four shots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, not so bad. And uh, here's where we need the outlying crate, I guess. Yeah, there's definitely something up there. Unfortunately, we cannot reach it. If I had to take a guess, it's going to be boxes. Efficient enemy placement! 
Oh, it's an assembly line, I guess. Ugh, get up there. I tried to slide jump, couldn't quite get out of the way. Why didn't I just spin that thing out of the way? Sometimes the best ideas are the ones that come too late. How am I doing on boxes? Mm, still missing most of them. This is a dangerous place to put something like this. Just saying. Oh! Almost. Okay, I'm guessing we can probably go up there. I'm also guessing it's gonna be a little dangerous. We have a bonus platform here as well. Gonna sort that out in just a moment. I want to know what's up here. Not really getting a safe moment to go here, though. Ugh, oh. Yeah. Let's try this again. Oh, I could have made it. Oh, I, I was not comfortable with that bar being there. I guess there was just more boxes here. Okay. Ooh. No need to rush. All right. Now let's take this bonus path, shall we? What are we contending with? 29 boxes. Bad timing. Had a feeling that was going to happen. I need to be in the body slam position as it is turning into a TNT box. The timing was still bad. Hmm, go figure. It's okay, we'll get it this time. I stake my reputation on it. That was a bad thing to stake. One of these days I'll time that better. Eventually, I gotta get this right, right? Uh-oh. Oh, sure, do it when it's harder. <laughs> um. Oh! Oh, okay. I need to spin it when it is a question box. Got it, got it now. They are not afraid to test you in this game, clearly. There we go. I will just get out of the way of that. Oh, another one. Wait a minute. I wasn't supposed to, like, rush ahead, was I? Wait a minute. I think it took out another box, and... Wow, I can't even get up here with a high jump. I think I need to jump up before the TNT gets set off. Okay. Jump up. Get down here. Because, yeah, that fills in. Oh! Also, I think that other exclamation box filled in another block up ahead. Get up. Get up. Yeah, I, I can't get past that line of boxes without falling into the pit, doesn't look like. There we go. Uh, yeah, that last block does fill in. 
So basically, you have to be able to get past all those boxes and then get through the gap before you get sealed inside. Meanwhile, there's also another set of boxes up top. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be another one of those I need a certain power in order to get through all this. One of the uh, boss abilities. So I guess I'll stick to the high road this time. Set those off. Yeah, it's looking more and more like I have to come here with the uh, extra abilities in order to break all the boxes. So those are just gonna have to be left alone. All right, gonna just need a high jump to get over this. There we go. Boy, we are going even higher. Well, this looks dangerous. Would probably be no problem for the uh, super body slam. Okay, I could do it with the regular as well. There we go. Well, now that we can uh, go around it in a 3D space. Oh, sure, and then I just walk right into it, like a dummy. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get to that box up there. I'm guessing another one's going to fall in its place. Yep. There we go. Boy, the positioning of that one is a little tricky. Because it's actively on the ones that you need to land on. Yeah, case in point. Yeah, this is going to be real tough. Okay. Another outline crate here. Something up ahead, maybe? Ooh, can I duck under this? Yes. Okay. Oh! There's an enemy there, apparently. Oh, okay, so he's hiding a one-up up there. I could maybe hit him with a slide jump. Or just do that. Okay, sure. Not really anything I can do up there, though, so... It's another one of these. And the missiles are moving in time. I can't wait around on them this... I get... Oh! I was not paying attention to the... Oh! Oh my goodness, this is not gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm not sure about the timing on this one. Let's see... Oh, that was... bad. I think I'm just going to have to ignore the missiles on that part and just jump across when the platforms are pointing down, which is uh, really the only time we're going to be able to jump across. I'm pretty sure the missiles are firing in time with the uh, rotating platforms, so I should be able to do that. Uh. Uh, a little too early there. Whoa, what? 
Hello, secret area. <laughs> okay. Oh, there was an explosive in there. What a mean place to put that. Then again, shame on me for not checking first. Right, so now that we know it's down here. Let me go ahead and get the boxes out of the way. Hey, I remember them doing something similar to that in uh, Crash the Huge Adventure, where you would uh, body slam through steel crates. Oh, yep, there it is. Funny enough, in Huge Adventure, it also happened in a future level like this one. Alright, let's get that out of the way. And I guess we'll continue forward. Oh boy, they're getting faster. I like these alternate paths, though. Oh! You have to be quicker than that. Oh, bad. I was really hoping I'd be able to uh, turn that around. Oh, okay, there's an exclamation box here. Which I guess will fill in the outline crate at the other end. Ow. Yeah, here it is. All right. Fair enough. Finding a lot of use for the exclamation boxes in this level. Doing all right on the boxes as well. Gonna try something a little different. Okay, yeah, that's a little better of an approach. Oh, Nitro Detonator. Was this always... He oh, it must have filled that in. Okay, I get it. There's still one up up there? No. So there's no reason to go after you anymore. Ugh. That's going to be another tricky section, but I think um, high jump slash double jump will be the way to get through there safely. Also, now we can see the robots shooting at the walls. You need to get out of there. Ooh. Yeah, I see that one-up crate down there in a ver rather dangerous place. This is also quite a long level. Been at this one for a while. Okay, looks like we'll be able to jump over this one. I wasn't comfortable jumping on top of that just yet. Now. Oh! You would! Thank you for putting your spikes away! Now, how can I safely take out this one-up and then land on a platform? Uh, like this! Not like that! Ooh, oh, I panicked! Ah. Well, that wasn't good. Alright, now let's try and get this box. Yeah, that's more or less what I was looking for last time. Ooh, let's think. Oh! The box counter at the end, and. We're already at the end, and I'm missing this many boxes? Wow. There must be, like, an entire section that I haven't found yet. I really... I mainly just have to wait until I'm comfortable enough to be able to bounce across here before I can actually commit. Ew, that was a little dicey. Okay, that box isn't so bad when you know what to do. As is usually the case. 
quickly bounce across, and uh, yeah, this is the end of the level, and we are missing uh, quite a few boxes. I'm thinking that there might be another section somewhere that I just haven't seen yet, and also those enemies just respawn. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But I guess that takes care of business here, for now. Okay, and uh, with that, we come out of the level empty-handed, because I did not see either of those gems. Um, well, that was basically what my first impressions of the level. I can see that this is definitely going to be quite a handful, and I'm probably going to have to come back with all the powers, because, as you can see, I did not... There were quite a few boxes there that I couldn't break, because I didn't have access to things like the double jump or the fruit bazooka... So, I'm going to go ahead and take care of those before I attempt a no-damage run of this, but we will come back to it, and we will perfect this level. So, until next time, see you then!